Hi, dyslexic genius here. What I'm going to talk about are Victor outside horn phonographs and the horn yoke, this nickel-plated piece here that the horn fits into. A Victor 1 and a Victor 2 have two distinctive different yokes, these pieces. Why are they called a yoke and not an elbow? I don't know. Some people call them a yoke, some call them an elbow. I call them the yoke. It hooks up to the horn. This is a Vic 2, like this. And this is a Victor 1. This is the same yoke or elbow that they use on the schoolhouse, the Vic 20, the schoolhouse phonographs. It's the same one. And this one just slides in here like this. I thought the schoolhouse was a 25. Yeah, the, yeah I think it is a 25. I get confused sometimes. Miss Genius is smarter than me on some things. So let's talk about these. So a Victor 1 is unique to a Victor 1. A Victor II yoke or elbow here is unique to the machine. And then we get to a Victor three, which this is. You have a three, four, five, and a six. And on those, like the six, this yoke is a little bit longer. And it, they, I think they did that to make it look, the machine look bigger in the back. But they also, this piece here fit, fits all of them, three, four, five, and to six. And on the two, you can see the size difference here. And this is what becomes critical on the phonographs. So you can't put this one on a Victor two. Only a Victor two fits on a Victor two. And these are just things I wanted to talk about because three through six, you can use the same yoke on all of them. They'll all fit because all the in the Victor horns are the same. And when you have a Victor horn, like this one, to put one on, you have this round piece or a knob right here. And then on this edge right here, you want to look to make sure that it's not worn out or flattened out because then the yoke or the elbow, when it goes on, will not lock in. Because what this is, it's kind of like a screw. You can see the angle on here. It just kind of locks it in. So when you put them in, you'll hear that. Now, you tighten it, and there you go. Now when you turn it around, and you have it sitting in the machine. Put this one back in the machine. Now the decal is in the right position. And then on these, this bracket here, this Y-shaped thing, just a second. These are unique to all of them from the two up. And these are in interchangeable. It has a pin here that fits in the back of your back bracket. So you'll just set this in here like that. And then we have this hole for the threaded part. And you'll screw this in. And usually you want to leave this a little loose before you tighten it down. You're going to tighten it down, but you want to leave it a little loose. It's a little easier to put the horn on. Because on the yoke, we have a flatter side and then over here we have a thicker side. And this flat side, the shortest piece, fits in like that. And then you kind of hold the horn and crank down. There we go. And that's designed to let the horn pivot like this. So if you're playing your phonograph and Aunt Julie doesn't like your music, and you just turn the horn over this way so you can hear it better than Aunt Julie. That's what it's designed. It's a directional thing for the horn, which is really nice. If you're playing the horn and you want to look at the phonograph, this is how it opens it up. And this is just a little tip that I had. I wanted to show you the difference between the yokes or the elbows on Victor machines, and that's my tip for the day.